Thank you, Director General, Excellencies, distinguished colleagues. It's a pleasure to be here for the 113th session of the Council, and we should encourage more colleagues to come in person next year, as fostering dialogue is important in Council and in the sides of the Council to improve our global understanding. I would also like to wholeheartedly thank IOM for his active support to Greece during the difficult decade of the migration crisis. Antonio Vitorino personally and his team has been very effective, working with us in areas such as unaccompanied minor facilities, camp management, healthcare provision, integration programs, and voluntary returns. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is facing numerous serious interlinked challenges, such as climate change, overpopulation, food insecurity, and displacement. We welcome the action taken by many states, and we encourage more action to be taken in these fields. The outcome would be obviously of such challenges that increased migratory pressure would occur. We need to prepare for the needs of the time in a coordinated and organized way, providing humanitarian and development support to countries in need, providing for humanitarian visas when required, and very importantly, providing for legal migration pathways. Greece is prepared to participate in joint efforts to mitigate the consequences of these issues as long as these efforts are coordinated in accordance with international law and the responsibilities are fairly and equally shared. Last year, we welcomed, for example, 843 Afghan female dignitaries in Greece with humanitarian visas. We welcomed more than 100,000 displayed people from the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Migration is a collective challenge and no state can address it alone. We're working with our European Union partners to agree on a new pact on migration and asylum. Still much work is needed, still problems arise. But Europe is determined to work together. Greece has for the past 10 years been at the forefront of managing disproportionate migration flows compared to the capacity of the country. In order to manage migration flows, we have enacted a strict but fair migration policy. Our policy centers are protecting our borders and controlling irregular migration in line with international law, as well as opening up pathways for legal and orderly migration. We want to offer legal pathways to people in need, people seeking employment in Europe, offering opportunities through bilateral agreements. We have entered agreements recently with Bangladesh and Egypt, and we're working with many other countries to establish similar agreements. We're ready to participate in joint initiative for humanitarian admissions, as we have done in the past, as I mentioned, in the case with Afghan dignitaries. But let me be crystal clear in one important issue. We will never permit smugglers people making money from human suffering to dictate who enters Greece and the European Union. It is a national priority to track down and dismantle such smuggling networks. Many use the asylum path as an employment route to Europe. It is critical that we preserve the integrity of the asylum system and the Geneva Convention, providing asylum to those entitled to international protection, but returning with safe and dignified manner those that come irregularly and not eligible for protection. We look forward to continue our cooperation with the International Organization of Migration, and we will encourage a review of the UN system, focusing on opp the opportunities to merge resources and capabilities in the field. Thank you.